friends welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new series that I am going to be starting here on my channel and that is I am going to be making vegetarian or vegan meals every so often I'm going to film those and upload those for all of my vegan and vegetarian friends out there a lot of you have asked me to show you some fantastic WW friendly vegan vegetarian plant-based meals so I have come to the rescue and I'm going to be starting a new series here on my channel so we are going to knock it out of the park with this first episode in my plant-based vegan vegetarian series and tonight's dinner is going to be vegetarian based and we are going to be making a bean burrito bowl so we are putting all of the mexican flair and flavor and fabulous ingredients into a vegetarian dish so if you want to take part in the first episode on this vegetarian vegan plant-based series all you have to do is stay tuned <music> So for tonight's vegetarian recipe, we are making bean burrito bowls. These are going to be so good, packed with flavor, healthy fats in the avocados, even some rice, so you can't go wrong. So let me show you what is in our vegetarian bean burrito bowls. So first you're going to need some salt, two cups of water. You can either use black beans or pinto beans, I asked my husband, he wanted pinto beans. You'll also need some corn, you can use fresh or frozen. Some salsa of your choice, a lime and an avocado. Whatever cheese that you wanna use, so I'm gonna do the Trader Joe's light shredded Mexican blend. And then you're going to need some rice, I'm gonna do this long grain brown rice. Now I love jasmine rice, but in this recipe, I think the brown rice is going to give the bowl a really good flavor. So let's get going on our bean burrito bowls. The first thing that we're gonna get started is our rice. So we're gonna add two cups of water to our saucepan. And then we are also going to add one cup of brown rice. And we're gonna let this come to a boil. And then we will go ahead and pop a lid on it, reduce the heat, and just let that rice get nice and cooked down. Now let's get ready to put together the bean burrito portion of our bowl. While our rice is cooking, we are going to peel and pit our avocado. And we're basically going to be making a guacamole. So I'm gonna pop this into a bowl. We're also going to juice our lime. I love my little handy dandy juicer. So let's get these two parts done and then we'll be ready to move to the next step. Once you have your avocado all chopped up and your limes juiced, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of cut this up with a fork, add a little bit of lime juice, and we're gonna do this to taste. So you're gonna wanna taste it periodically. Don't go too crazy, because we don't wanna count any points, but you're just gonna take a fork and you're going to smash it and add a little bit of lime juice and salt until you have the right taste for your guacamole. So we're ready to assemble our burrito bowl. So first I've measured out one half of a cup of my brown rice, and we are just going to layer our bowl. Sorry, I forgot my spoon here. We're just gonna layer everything into our bowl. So I'm gonna start with my brown rice on the bottom, and then I'm going to put a layer of the pinto beans. I did warm them up for just a couple of minutes, and these are zero points, and this is your protein. So make sure that you do a decent amount just so that you're getting a good amount of protein in your burrito bowl. We're also going to add in a little bit of corn, which is also zero points. So I like to put about a quarter cup to a half of a cup of corn in my burrito bowl. And then I'm going to top it with some guacamole. And I want about two ounces or so of guacamole. So I'm just going to put a couple of little scoops here on there. And then I'm going to top it with some salsa. And of course, this is going to be to taste 
however much or little salsa that you like on your burrito bowl. And I'm also going to add one tablespoon of light sour cream. And lastly, I'm going to add just about an eighth of a cup here of my light shredded cheese. So literally just a sprinkle on top of my burrito bowl. And there you have it. That is our vegetarian burrito bowl. So it is three smart points for the rice, zero for the beans, zero for the corn, two smart points for the guacamole. It is one smart point for the cheese and one smart point for the sour cream. And of course, zero for the salsa. So this entire bowl is only seven points. And this bowl is full and it looks absolutely delicious. I hope you enjoyed the first recipe in my new vegan, vegetarian, and plant-based series here on my channel. This recipe was outstanding. It was so good. To be honest, my husband didn't even notice that there wasn't any meat, and he thought it was fabulous. You've got that healthy fats in the avocado and all of the flavor of Mexican food, and it was low point, and again, superb. So I highly recommend trying this recipe no matter what your lifestyle and your eating choices are. It is such a great recipe and again it's WW friendly. So if you're new to my channel I'd like to extend a huge warm welcome. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that little bell. That way you'll be notified when I upload a video. You don't want to miss out. I upload almost every day of the week. I would love it if you would thumbs up this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this new series on my channel and what types of recipes you would like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!